Welcome to the show. I'm Corinne. And I'm LaShondra, and together we're KNL Everyday CNA. Mm -hmm. Over the past several weeks, the weather has been all crazy from high heat index to heat advisory and even cold fronts. It hasn't been a typical summer for most of us. No, it, it really hasn't. Um, so we thought it would be good to go over some of the heat-related illnesses as well as some signs to look for. We thought it would be good education for our newer CNAs and a good review for our seasonal CNAs yes. as well. There are six types of heat-related illnesses. Number one is heat stroke. What to look for? High body temperature, 103 or higher, a fast, strong pulse, headache, dizziness, nausea, confusion, loss of consciousness, or passing out. Yes. And the things you would like to do is call 911. Heat stroke is a medical emergency. If at work, quickly notify appropriate staff. Mm -hmm. Move person to a cooler place. Help lower person's temperature. Place cool cloths or take them a cool bath. Mm -hmm. Do not give the person anything to drink. It's true. The second one is heat exhaustion. Things to look for. Heavy sweating, cold, pale or clammy skin, fast, weak pulse, nausea or vomiting, muscle cramps, tiredness or weakness, dizziness, headache, fainting, and passing out. And then also with that, you would like to move them to a cool place. Loosen clothes, use cool wet cloths on your body or a cool bath, small sips of water, seek medical help if you start throwing up or symptoms get worse, lasting longer than one hour. Again, if you're at work, notify appropriate staff. Work at home help, know your emergency contact information for the client as well as knowing your policy of these kind of emergencies. Mm -hmm. right. The third one is heat cramps. Look for heavy sweating during intense exercise or outside work, muscle pain or spasms. And you wanna stop physical activity or work, mm -hmm. move to a cool place, Drink water or a sports drink. Wait for cramps to go away before you do any other kind of activity. Right. Medical attention if cramps last longer than one hour, if you are on a low sodium diet or have heart problems. Number four is sunburn. Look for painful, red, warm skin, blisters on the skin and the things you want to do is stay out of the sun until those areas heal use cool cloths or even take a cool bath apply moisturizing cream or lotion do not break the blisters number five is heat rash look for red clusters of small blisters they'll be like pimple like mm -hmm. raised areas and they can be found on the neck, chest, groin area, or in the elbow creases. And the things you need to do is to stay cool, keep the rash dry, use powder to smooth the rash, like baby powder, or powder that is free from perfume or from alcohol content. The last one is heats and coat. Look for faintness, dizziness, headache, increased pulse rate, Restlessness, nausea, vomiting, brief loss of consciousness, or falling. Mm -hmm. Things to do, you want to drink plenty of fluids, move to a cool place, rest, give yourself some time to recover. Remember, this is caused by low blood pressure. Mm -hmm. The heat can cause the blood vessels to expand, moving body fluid into the legs by gravity. It may result into fainting. Yeah. Um, before we go on to some a few tips for the CNAs that could be helpful, when we were talking about um, the heat cramps and all that, you know, if you're outside on lunch break, you know, and if you see your maintenance crew out there, kind of watch them. Um, I know you come in and out from um, driving the gentlemen on their doctor's appointments mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, you may have a 
better view of what's going yes. on in the ground. So we just want to watch out for our co-workers at yes. well and help them out. So here's a few tips for CNAs. You can choose loose, light, colored, lightweight clothing, apply sunscreen, and repeat when needed. Encourage your residents, clients, and patients to drink more water than normal and stay hydrated. Eat light, encouraging cool meals. Stay away from the heavy meals, our very hot meals. And you wanna stay in the shade if you're outside. Monitor their time spent outside. Know the signs and symptoms of all heat-related illness, illnesses. Home health CNAs, make sure you are monitoring your clients very closely when doing visits. Keep a checklist. Are they drinking enough? Do they have access to an air conditioner or a fan? Can a window be open? And do they know and understand how important it is to keep themselves cool? Know all emergency contact information for your clients. Know your policy for emergencies. I know there was a lot of information we just threw your way, but very important information that needed to be discussed. Right. It only takes a few minutes for heat to become dangerous and deadly. So let's all stay safe, stay cool, and keep our, our elders safe. So come back next week, same time, same place. Remember to like, share, and subscribe.